Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a super exciting get ready with me featuring some new makeup from Merit Beauty. If you guys don't know what Merit Beauty is, they're a relatively new beauty brand. They're in Sephora. They're really makeup for like that clean, minimalistic look, like that that girl look, if you will. For the girl who wants to look elevated and polished but doesn't want to cake on too much makeup, it's just products for a very simplified yet luxurious routine. And I am so excited to be trying some of their products today. They actually did send these products to me and I couldn't not be more thrilled to dive right in and do a full face and kind of demoing them for you specifically focusing on their lipsticks which actually were in my car on Sephora to buy I swatched them in store because I was super excited to hear that they would be sending me products and I got to choose some of the ones I wanted in the specific lipstick shade so I was in Sephora swatching them and yeah if you guys want to see me do a full face we can chit chat and hang out don't forget to please subscribe to my channel hit the notification bell so you know when I post and without further ado let's go ahead and get on into it okay so first things first hold on let me turn the air it's freaking hot in this room okay, these joggers are from skims they are my favorite thing in the world they're so comfy i am a skims stan anywho back to the makeup i was looking for clean beauty brands because i am somebody as you guys know is a predominantly cruelty free channel like i said mirror beauty is all about clean ingredients they're all about that minimalistic makeup routine for the everyday woman for the beauty aficionado for the beauty junkie for the beauty lovers but want like products that they know are good for their skin they're safe for their skin and just that kind of clean elevated look because I don't know about you I fully stand by the look good feel good kind of uh, mentality and even when I put on a little bit of makeup or have a little bit something here and there like it makes me feel better about my day and that truly is what merit stands for in my opinion like that whole kind of no makeup makeup look that'll still make you feel empowered and feel good so first things first when I got the package in the mail I got to pick out seven products online um, I was so pleasantly surprised look at this packaging Look at this, a full on corduroy little tote that carries all of the products. And I am so freaking excited to dive into them today. Okay, so first things first, I kind of want to just run you through the different products that I got. I got seven products total in this amazing bag. And I believe that your first purchase from Merit online, you get this nice kind of corduroy bag that houses your products free, which I love that. First things first, I got the Minimalist Perfecting Complexion Stick. And by the way, you can find all of these obviously online at Merit or on Sephora. This is not a foundation or concealer, it's both. Use it only where you need it so it complements your skin, not your makeup. So this is kind of like a two-in-one foundation concealer stick. It's meant to be like a skin perfecting kind of product. So it's not like something that you shellac all over your face. Again, the whole claim of this brand is less is more. So they're really all about that minimalistic, approach enhancing your natural beauty and your natural features um and i love the unicarton of it all like honestly i know it's a, it's a little thing but truly packaging in my opinion contributes to the overall look and feel and experience that you get um from a brand and they're cruelty free clean vegan and yeah okay so to you swipe onto skin where you want coverage and buff it out with a brush so you can't tell what's you and what's makeup there are several shades i got the shade suede of course i did this online so i couldn't really tell what it would be. So here is the stick. It looks like a traditional foundation stick. This is the product. By the way, be careful when you take off the lid and put it back on, otherwise it'll swipe the inside. You can see right there, it'll swipe the inside. So just be careful. Um, but when I was looking at this yesterday, it looked like a pretty good match. I am going to start by priming my skin. I've actually been using the Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Primer a lot lately. And I know one of you commented that it looks like mine is expired i don't know if it is i probably i mean i've had it for like three years now so i probably shouldn't be using this but i love the way that this feels on my skin and it makes my makeup stay on all day and it doesn't smell bad and um it hasn't irritated my skin so i am just going to um i'm going to keep using it for now but i really really appreciate the call out of concern so they say don't treat this like a foundation but i am just going to kind of spot conceal and just kind of swipe on areas so for example, oh, that's actually a pretty, pretty good match. I'm just going to go over a little bit. Oh, it's a little bit darker. I'm just gonna kind of go over my problem areas. And I like that it's a small kind of circular tip, so it really allows you to be precise with your application. Like it allows, if you have one blemish, like for example, right here, boom, right here, done. I think this is an amazing hybrid product, at least from an application standpoint. Um, the only thing is, is that because the color is obviously a little bit different, like obviously this matches my body, but my face is not as tan. I kind of want to apply dots all over, just not from a coverage standpoint per se, but just so that the color doesn't look super off. But again, it's not going to be anything crazy. Like I'm literally just applying 
tiny little dots everywhere and i'm just going to retract this back down i will have the prices the shades and the names of everything down below in the description box so you guys can have easy reference um but as i said i'm just going to blend this out with a brush so i'm going to take this bh cosmetics number five brush it's what i use for a concealer but um i am just going to take this and i'm not going to use like a whole on foundation brush or a beauty blender because first of all they suggest blending it out with a brush but also because I am going for a more targeted application. Wow, that blends out pretty nicely actually. I'm just gonna buff it in circular motions. Because this is a cream product, I would suggest blending it out with a brush anyway. Like even if they hadn't instructed that, I would have automatically instinctively used a brush because creams are a little bit thicker. So I feel like they're a lot easier to manipulate with a brush as opposed to like a sponge. Oh, you know what, let me just put my handy dandy clips Oh, and I just got these. I have so many baby hairs. I need to like keep these on check. Okay. This is truly perfect for no makeup makeup looks because of the size of the applicator and the way this is blending out. You can see it does obviously give me a little bit of coverage, like pretty much just enough. Like, wow. I am still going to go in with a little bit of brightening concealer because I have dark under eyes and obviously that shade was more of like a skin tone shade. So I'm just going to go in with a little bit of concealer but actually let's see how this builds up so if i want to do a little bit more just on targeted areas um and not much i'm just going to put a little bit more of my scar here here and then like this like literally barely anything i'm going to see how it blends out so again work it in. i don't feel like i'm having to struggle to blend this in which i really enjoy because sometimes with cream products like it takes a lot um of effort to blend it in but this i am enjoying because it's not like it's just very easy to blend in it's not thin it's not too thick and my skin because i am oily i am going to set this down but if you are dry you would not have to set this because it is not super duper dewy it's truly like a natural finish we have a mascara a brow gel two lip products which are going to be the stars of today's video we have this tinted lip oil and we have a flush balm okay so the next thing that we can try on is the flush balm i think this is the very first product of merit ever that i saw people talking about that i saw online that i added to my cart and i was super intrigued to try because i was like oh my gosh that is the cutest thing ever and cream brush cream brush cream blushes are all the rage these days so this is the flush balm cheek color a universal tint that melts into your skin or lit from within color um to so swipe on the cheeks and blend it with your fingers you can't mess it up okay so let's just do what they say by the way i chose the shade beverly hills i will swatch it on my hand for you right now wow that is so creamy you can see it's like this really pretty like peachy kind of pink it feels like nothing honestly it doesn't feel very greasy very heavy again it's one of those like no makeup makeup products where you can really build it up if you want but if you want just like a sheer wash that'll definitely give it to you upon first um layer so i'm just going to directly swipe this on my face normally i get a little bit nervous putting this on top of foundation or complexion products but i'm going to go in pretty heavily because i know this will kind of blend out so i'm going to take my fingers and there really is something magical about the way that your fingers do apply like the warmth from your skin really just blends everything out really nicely like look how beautiful wow okay. oh my gosh look at that glow look how pretty i want to add a little bit more because like I said, this is buildable. I love the ease of application from these products. Like they really designed it thoughtfully to be like, okay, if you don't have tools, like you don't need tools. Like this is, you can blend it with your fingers. It's a very no fuss routine. Okay, I am loving this. What do you guys think? It's not super duper punchy, but it's just enough. It's not meant to be super duper pigmented and you can build it up. Like you can see I did two layers and it's giving me a nice, amount of color Can i wear these out on a night out no probably not but that's not the point of this brand this brand is meant for a more like i said elevated easy luxurious everyday makeup routine and so for that purpose i absolutely give it a thumbs up so far because i am enjoying it so far i feel like i look really nice i'm going to put on some other products i'm going to take my essence brighten up banana powder right here and i'm going to set under the eye uh where is my setting you know i'm just gonna take this i'm gonna set under the eye and i always set my face guys because i do have oily skin by the way i don't think i've talked about these sponges before they're a dupe for the tati beauty blendiful which rest in peace tati beauty 
um, from Tati Westbrook, but they're on Amazon and they're awesome. Like they have a sponge inside. I use these all the time for powder, for foundation. Like it really is a great tool. And they have like a little mini one too that I think is awesome. Oh, I have it right here. I carry this with me to touch up in my purse. If I want to blow oil, it's really cool. Now that my under eye powder is done, I'm just going to take um, another powder. I'm just going to take CoverGirl Clean Fresh Press Powder and I'm just going to lightly set the rest of my face. Very, very lightly. I don't want the full on mattified powder look, but again, it is hot and I am oily. So in order to preserve any kind of makeup I put on my face, I need to set it. We are moving on now to bronzer. I'm gonna take a bronzer palette I've rediscovered recently, the Ace Beauty Bronze in Paradise palette. It has four different shades and I love using these as eyeshadows as well. I'm just gonna take a big brush. I'm gonna mix these two. I'm just gonna lightly kind of bronze the face. And you can see that adds like such a nice kind of warmth. Like look how much more tan I look. I'm just going to take a very natural highlighter. I'm going to take the Natasha Denona Glow Powder for face and body, and I'm just going to pop that on. I feel like nobody is loving highlighter that much lately. Like, it's definitely not the trend these days. The trend is definitely more minimalistic products, which I love, but there's something about a good highlighting moment that when you set it down with, like, setting spray, it just looks... So good. I'm also gonna put that on my shoulders. Anyway, if you guys are going anywhere for spring break or you've gone anywhere recently and travel, please let me know. I would love to live vicariously through you. So the next product we have to try out is the Brow 1980 Volumizing Pomade. So this is a nod to the brow of the 80s as pomade gives you thick, fluffy brows that hold all day. Sounds good to me. I already have thick brows naturally, but you know, I'm always looking to define them and sculpt them and whatnot. Um, okay, so here is the packaging. Oh my God, it's so pretty. The attention to detail, you really can feel like this is an elevated brand and I absolutely love that. So to use, brush your brows up and out, wiggling the brush to add volume where you need it. Let it dry and come back for a second coat. Okay, so this is like a two-in-one brow gel. Um, like it's a pomade, but it's in the form of a gel, so you don't need to like use pencil or anything, I don't think, underneath. So that is what we're gonna do. I am not going to apply any other product on my brows. I'm just gonna take this, by the way, I chose the shade black brown because that's typically what I do. So they say go in with one layer, and if we need another, another layer. And brow gel is something that I absolutely need. If you're doing all this makeup and you leave your brows, unless they're microbladed, obviously, it looks empty, right? Like it looks, not empty, it looks incomplete. So I'm just gonna take this and swatch it with the light hand, ooh. Okay, I like that it's not super duper pigmented, it's not depositing globs right away. So actually, it's depositing the pigment very, very evenly. You can already see the difference. It's very minimal, but I am just going to go over that. Okay, I am so glad I picked black brown because I was debating between, I think, brunette brown and black brown, and I typically go for black brown, but given the fact that this is not super duper in your face harsh, um, I'm glad I went for this. So I'm gonna do, that's one layer on this side. I'm gonna do one layer on this side. And then let's try building it up just to see what that looks like. Do you guys have a favorite brow you like to apply products to? Mine is definitely my left one. I do not like my right brow. Well, let me rephrase. My right brow is more uneven in terms of like shape, like it's thicker up here and then it kind of goes down. But when it comes to lining it, like doing a pencil, this is my favorite brow to film. I don't know why, I didn't make the rules, that's just how I feel. Let it dry and come back for a second coat. Okay, so I don't know if this is dry. I think it feels dry to the touch, so I'm just going to lightly, the key is using light strokes. Oh, oh, I got some on my, gosh damn it, it's because it's on here. Let me uh, clean that up real quick, now big. Just, whoop, bam, okay. So I think this is awesome. Again, this is very everyday. It's not like gonna give you, like if you were falsies with this, I would look insane because I would look like I have no brows. Um, I have to really build this up, but for an everyday, this is getting the job done nice. That is without any pencil, without any kind of prior shaping. I am really enjoying it. The only thing I would wanna add obviously is because in terms of shape, not in terms of fullness. I think this did a great job of filling in and adding definition. I just want to fill in the top a little bit here because it looks 
a little bit uneven. Take a little bit of brow pencil. Kind of fill out the top. Okay, I love this. I think it's great for every day. And this is definitely one of those things that I, like I said for the other products, I'm just gonna pick up on a one and done. But I just wanna put in some brow product but not fill them in all the way. Because like I said, this does not deposit clumps. Like obviously like I got some on here because like the wand and I was just like moving it. But in terms of the brows, like I did not have to comb out a shit ton of product um, because it deposited like an uneven gloopy mess. Do you know what I mean? And that I really appreciate. And I'm feeling it now. It's not a crunchy brow gel. It literally is just a great kind of fill and define tool. So that's awesome. Okay, next up we have the mascara. I am just going to apply barely anything on my eyes. Like I mentioned, I'm just gonna take this bronzer palette. I'm just gonna go in with the second shade right here on a fluffy brush. And I'm just going to literally sweep this into my crease. That's it. That's all we're gonna do. I'm gonna sweep this into my crease just for a little bit of definition. And it's so easy and so minimalistic. Like, I love a good bronzer for this. And this is what I do on an everyday basis if I'm wearing makeup and, you know, I'm not filming and I'm just kind of going to the office or seeing a friend for lunch, which is what I'm doing today. I'm going to curl my lashes. The Clean Lash Lengthening Tubing Mascara. Oh my gosh, it's a tubing mascara. I love a tubing mascara. So if you guys don't know what a tubing mascara is, basically it's a formula that you can just remove with water. Like it's not going to smudge. The product is literally just gonna come off in literal tube. To use, comb through lashes, doing a little wiggle at the base to add thickness at your lash line to remove wash with cleanser and warm water. So yep, like I said, you don't need a makeup remover. I always apply mascara with lash primer so i'm just going to do a couple coats of my lash primer underneath i'm just going with the essence lash primer because i seldom unless i'm just going in with falsies wear mascara by itself while that's drying i don't have a liner for mirror so i'm just going to go in with just got this tardis double take eyeliner in this is one of my favorite eyeliners ever the felt tip is amazing inky black so good and the retractable um black liner is my favorite like Honestly, now I feel like wooden liners, like I've mentioned before, wooden liners are my favorite for eyeliners and lip pencils. I feel like they're creamier than retractable, but this is a very creamy retractable eyeliner. So I'm just going to tight line. This will allow the lashes to look thicker. And then now I'm gonna go in with the mascara. Look how beautiful that is. This is a nice wand. I can already tell this is gonna be nice. You guys can see it's like that natural um, fiber wand. It's your go-to mascara for every day. Tubing technology tints, lifts, and lengthens lashes with no smudging ever. So I don't imagine it's gonna be like a super dramatic mascara, but here we go. Ooh, do a couple of coats. Yeah, so it's not depositing a bunch of like product right away. I'm somebody who personally likes like a little bit more of a dramatic lash. I love like black thick lashes with mascara because I just am somebody who has straight lashes. So I like there to be drama and impact without me applying falsies, but this is actually quite nice for a natural lash. Like you can really tell it's volumizing. I'm gonna actually dip back in. If you like a lengthening formula and you don't want clumps, like this is a great product for you because look how long they look. And I'm like building this up and I don't really see clumps. The only thing I wish is that it was a little bit more black, but like I said, I get the natural minimalistic no makeup makeup look. As I'm applying different coats, I've noticed the coats underneath are kind of dry. So I wonder if it's because that's a tubing formula and it's like drying and not that it's like stuck, but just keep that in mind. I still think that I was able to build this up pretty nicely. Now we have the lip products left, which is super exciting. Um, I am going to be showing you guys actually the star of the show. This is the new signature lip color. They have a bunch of different shades. I'm gonna throw um, some swatches up on the screen right now, but it's lightweight, buildable, satin finish, clean, cruelty-free, vegan, and I am always a sucker for a good lipstick, especially for Merit. I just feel like it's so on brand to do a regular lipstick instead of necessarily like a liquid lipstick because a lipstick is truly like what you can throw in your purse and be on the go. Even for me, if I'm doing a no makeup makeup look, I will reach for a lipstick over a liquid lipstick really or anything else because it's just so easy to apply. I picked out two colors of the signature lip lightweight lipstick right here. Love the unicorn. I picked out 1990 and slip. I'm going to swatch them for you on my hand and on my lips so you guys can see. Packaging, look how beautiful that is. It's got some good weight to it. That's another thing too about makeup and the whole experience with packaging is that it's nice that you can have a product that not only makes you feel good, but it looks great displayed. You know, that's kind of like part of the appeal in my opinion as well. This is in the shade slip. You guys know I love a good neutral brown lipstick. So when I saw they had like two brownie shades, I was like, yes, I need. So this is what the component 
looks like. So beautiful. It's supposed to be one of those like sheer kind of buildable lipsticks, like everything else in this brand, right? It's not gonna be a full coverage in your face, super glam makeup look, but it's like for the everyday look. This is Slip Swatched, which is like a super nice kind of nudie brown. Oh, so beautiful. That sheer look. And I'm gonna put that on my lips right now. No liner, nothing underneath. And this is the kind of product where you can apply without a mirror, like because it's not super duper pigmented, it's one of those things that you can truly be on the go, throw it in your purse and just throw it on and have it be good to go. It won't look super messy, like you can't really go wrong. Mmm. There's not really a scent, it just smells like lipstick, if that makes sense, like no artificial added fragrance, but wow. <gasps> this I love this. This is like literally my perfect favorite Your Lips But Better shade. It goes on so smoothly. It really is lightweight, creamy, but it's not too emollient where you get it outside your lines. It really is such a great everyday comfortable formula. Obviously it's gonna transfer. There's a little bit of transfer there obviously because it's not meant to be a matte lipstick. But I have a feeling that even though that's the case, this will wear a decently long time. Because like I said, it's not slipping and sliding all over the place, but it feels so nice on the lips. I'm gonna do another layer. I'm about to throw this in my bag to go to Hawaii. I'm not even kidding. I'm going to uh, just uh, put this over here so I remember. Okay, I'm going to write this off because we are going to now try the second color I got, which is a little bit darker. It's called 1990. So I am back and we are going to test out 1990. Again, this is a deeper, more chocolate brown, which I am so excited for because I love a dark lip. But when I was selecting the shade, I wasn't thinking like, oh my gosh, it's too dark, it's gonna be impractical because I know that it's more of a lightweight sheer formula, so it won't go on super duper intensely. But with that being said, obviously, it's still a little bit deeper. I'll um, free swatch slip for you guys so you can see next door. They're both in the same tonal family. This is slip, this is 1990 but Slip is obviously more nudie. 1990 is so apt, right? Because this is like brown, grungy lipsticks are like the pinnacle of the 90s, I think, so. Oh my God. Yes, everything yes. That's one layer. Let's do another layer. God, it feels so comfortable on the lips. Like I don't know how to explain it. It's buildable, it's lightweight. I didn't use a lip liner and I feel like my application still came out pretty precise. I'm loving it, what do you guys think? Vote for your favorite color in the comments below. Okay, last but not least, we are done almost with our that girl kind of minimalistic makeup look routine. I'm just going to set my face down a little bit with some setting spray for the very unprofessional cut in here, but I forgot to try the Merit Beauty lip oil, which I was super excited to try. I don't know why, like what came over me that I forgot this, but anyway, we're gonna get to it now. This is the Shade Slick Tinted Lip Oil, and I got the shade Taupe. I absolutely love a good lip oil. You throw it on every day. Um, it says slick on whenever your look needs a pick me up, no mirror required. So we're just going to, oh yeah. Oh my God. That feels so good. I'm literally about to go eat lunch, but what do we guys think? This is obviously the full look, but it feels so lightweight on the lips, balmy, very glossy, like it gives you that nice shine, but it feels so comfortable. It says it's a wash of sheer color, rich with rosehip and grapeseed oils for healthy, never sticky lips. Totally great. This is not sticky at all. Chef's kiss. Well guys, I am loving how my makeup turned out today for the everyday minimalistic Look, I love these products from Merit Beauty. Thank you so much to Merit for sending me these products. If you guys want to shop any Merit Beauty, I do have an affiliate link in the description below, which is super exciting. So if you guys want to check out or buy any of these products or any other shades, click the link. I do earn a small commission from it, but I would be so enthralled and grateful for your support. And these products are truly amazing. Like when I think elevated natural clean beauty, like that, that girl kind of makeup look, this is the brand that will definitely help you achieve that because they're all products that help you enhance your natural features. And I'm looking at myself right now and I'm like, wow, I don't have a full face of foundation or whatever on, but I still look put together. I still look ready for the day. I still feel like 
this could take me day to night, but it's more than anything, just something good that you can throw on very easily, very simplified for the everyday woman, the everyday man that wants to do makeup and wants to just feel a little bit more put together. These are the products that will help you do that on a daily basis. So yeah, that's it for this video, you guys. Please let me know in the comments below what you thought of this look. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you did. And hopefully I will see you in my next one. Mwah. Bye.